Hi guys and welcome back to another Moth Queen's Halloween and today we're going to be doing an evil jack-o'-lantern. So we start off by sketching out our design in a white eyeliner. I used the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I wasn't happy with the shape so I did end up taking some of it off with a baby wipe. Then you need to get an orange face paint. I use the Grimace face paints and start filling in the shape of your pumpkin. Make sure it's as even as possible. I use a small brush to get close to my outlines. You want to take a yellow face paint and you just want to go around the edges of the areas that you mapped out with the jumbo pencil because pumpkins have that kind of yellow flesh so this gives a nice 3d effect then go back in with the orange and start mapping out where your teeth are it wouldn't be a scary jack-o-lantern without some uh, beastie teeth and then go back in with the yellow and don't forget to fill in the fleshy areas Now you want to take the oranges and the browns. I ended up using a few different ones to try and get the right colour but then this is where you start creating the texture of the pumpkin. So the ridges that are on a pumpkin to give it a more three dimensional effect. Then you want to take an orange, I used a shimmery orange just to uh, fill in any bits which were maybe looking a bit patchy. And then highlight using a yellow. Using a fluffy brush and a brown, I'm just going to define those creases in the pumpkin a little bit more. Then you want to take a green and I've already mapped out my stalk. So if you map up your stalk and then fill it in with green. I end up using a few different greens to get the right colours and there's loads of texture on the stalks. And taking the black you're going to fill where the holes would be so that's the rest of the bits which you mapped out that you haven't filled in yet. Nose, eyes, the mouth and then around the pumpkin. It is time consuming, but once you've done it, it will look awesome. And then I went in with a black 
eyeliner just to get the bits of waterline on my eyes that I couldn't reach with face paint. I think this is probably the most time consuming part is filling in the mouth with black but take your time and just keep an eye on what you're doing and it will look amazing. And then just clean up any edges that you feel you need to. Then using the yellow, I'm just going to clean up all of the yellow bits. And then define my edges a little bit more. Then taking a black, it is time to start painting around your pumpkin face. This is also time consuming, but it gives the final effect. So you want to create the right shape. If you see what I'm doing, I'm kind of creating little notches to get a nice pumpkin shape and going up into my hairline. I switched to a smaller brush to get into smaller places as I found it much easier to do the outlining and then I filled the bigger spaces with a bigger brush. And these were both flat brushes and then I used a foundation brush to fill in my neck and my chest area. and highlighted with a white. Add mascara and don't forget to paint your ears. But something's missing. Oh, this is a two part. So this is the finished look. If you just want to stick with this, that's absolutely fine. This is regular face paints, but you can also add UV face paints to your look. So you can use whatever colors you want. I used orange to go over my yellows. And this also takes time, but it looks awesome and it's fun.
And then I was going to use a yellow over the black parts, but I wasn't 100% happy with the finished product, so I ended up painting a mix of yellow and orange over all of the parts which are black on my pumpkin face. And this is the finished UV look. It takes a while to get the right consistency, but keep working at it. I hope you enjoyed my video and happy Halloween.